What's up, guys? It's Raf in the Raf Cave. This is Raf Eats. It's my boy YT Hawk. We're about to do this Raf Eats called Universal Yums. Basically, it's a it's 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 a service you sign up for. It's forty dollars a month, and you get sent this box of goodies from basically any country in the world. So it's a nice surprise, a lot of fun. We're gonna dig in, dive in, see what's going on with it. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Should be a, a fun, fun video. Hawk, not YT Hawk. Hawk. YT Hawk. That's why I put YT. Okay. YT Hawk. Hawk, Hawk YT. No. All right, so let's get this guy unboxed. See what's inside. And this, this is from... Russia! Home of the world's largest <sighs> railroad, longest railroad. That's a cool thing. So it gives you the yum scoreboard. Off we go Mystery. to Russia. Pretty cool. You get this nice little brochure. Gives you a lot of trivia about the country and about what you're getting inside the box. Very cool. And it looks like a scoreboard. A scoreboard. A scoreboard of all the treats you get in the box. You get to basically label them and, and, and vote on them. Uh, basically gives you a, a favorite yum, worst yum, or weirdest yum. Sweet. This is all from uh, across Russia. St. Petersburg, Moscow, Siberia, Lake Baikal, Yakust, Petropavlsk. Lots of great places from Russia. So let's dig in to this. Uh, basically, uh, get you to learn about the country, that uh, of the food that uh, comes from that country and you get to taste it out and see what it's all about. Uh, this brochure right here talks about every single treat in the box so you get more familiar with it, where it comes from, uh, the history behind it. You get some trivia games inside here. So a lot of fun for the whole family to get involved with uh, food and streets and snacks from all over the world. So Rex, are you excited for this? Yes. All right, well, it looks like uh, on the top here, we are gonna dive into our first treat. What is it gonna be, Rex? All right, we're diving into the Red Hot Chili Pepper Bites. Okay, we're going into the spicy right away. All right, so we're diving into the uh, Red Hot Spicy Chips. And uh, yeah, these are gonna be, uh, Chili pepper bites. Rex, you want to open them up? Oh, uh, sure. All right. So there's an assumed rule that Russians don't do hot and spicy. Weird packaging. Uh, I, think, uh, I think they'll be just fine with this. So, grab one here. These are like little uh, puff, puff chips. Ready, Rex? Yep. All right, going in. I'm good. Yes. I think they're fine. Not too spicy. Mm -mm. Let me get one more. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, I'm nice. I'm nice. Nice, 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 nice flavor to it. All right. That's pretty good. All right. Not bad at all. What are we diving into next, Rex? Uh, let's do this one. All right, that is gonna be the dill pickle puffs. Tasty proof that Russians are pickle pros. All right, you open this one up. All right. Pickle. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. We can open this. They going in one of those. These are pickle puffs. Fun. Wow, yes, I like them. Yep, puffs, and uh, they got the pickle taste to them, so yeah. Not bad at all, yum. I would say the, what is called <laughs> Mel wants one. <laughs> Almost. Uh, Dad, what are these called again? Uh, those are the red hot chili pepper bites. I think these are better than the dill pickle ones. All right, what's next, Rex? 
Oh, these look tasty. All right, that is the, uh, what is that? That's the pro bag. What's the pro bag at? Um, oh, the pro bag. Those are going to be the sour cream and green onion potato chips. Fact, no one does sour cream like Russia. Oh, these are number two on the list. Hmm. These are extra oniony chips. All right, show the bag. Very nice. That's a big chip. Yep. Tastes fine. Um, it just tastes like, so I think it's a no, because it just tastes like American potato chips just with a little dill pickle. Oh, yeah. No. So it's a no, but I'm going to have one more, because, you know, good chips. All right, let's do, um... All right, what's next, dude? Ooh. So you need more. All right, what are those at? Let me see. Oh. Those are going to be the barbecue kebab potato chips. Fresh Russian barbecue flavor, no skewers needed. Okay, those are the bag. Neat little, I like the texture of these things. Very nice. Very tiny. Three. Two. All right, on three. Ready? One, two, three. I don't know about those. It's a unique, unique flavor to that one. I think a yes because I forgot what it kind of tastes like to me, but. It has this like potato texture, then it becomes like a meat texture. Yeah, it's got a meat meat aftertaste to it. Not really a barbecue though. Mm. All right, what's next on the list? What are these? Um, those are what are those? Are those are? Those are the grilled steak bread bites. Grilled steak bread bites. Grilled steak bread bites. Okay. What? Okay, three, two, one. Oh, that's a no. That's a no. That's a negative right there. What the frick are these? Uh, it tastes like... Is that like... I don't know, man. It's like barf rotten milk or something. Um, it tastes like chip popcorn, but a knockoff version. But I would say it's... For me, it's, a, it's kind of a between no and yes, just because I like the cheese texture and the potato chip texture, but... It's, what what was that again? What? Right. Oh, oh! I read the wrong thing. These are the uh, Soviet Sovietski cheese potato chips. Sovietski. Made with absurdly chips. addictive Russian cheese. That's what it was. This weird cheese, something or other. Right. Sovietski cheese. That's a no. That's right, that's definitely on the one. bottom of the list there. Okay, for this one, should I bring it up? Because it's just small. Yeah, go ahead and show. All right. Go ahead and show mm. that one. Uh, this is the candy store sample. This is going to be your white, cam. white oh, chocolate, cam. white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. Mmm, sounds good. Mm. Yeah, hurry up and open those. I need to get rid of this taste. I need to get rid of that Sovietsky cheese. Grab 
I like how they're divided. Okay, these are looking pretty cool. Nice wafer, uh, wafer, wow. wafer, wafer looking thing here. All right, you ready? Three, Go ahead. Two, two one. Mm. Mm. Got a cream center to it. Mm. I think, I got I a think creamy this center. would be good to the people who like coffee and like a nice thin coffee. So yep. this is a yes. It's a yes. Coffee, coffee wafer good. treats. Okay. That's a good one. All right. Candy is good. Good. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is, um, I'm looking in these bags here. Mushroom. What is it? It's English. Mushroom croutons. Oh. All right. Go ahead and open them up. These are Bolette mushroom bread bites. Taste Rush's award-winning wild mushrooms. Right. Wild mushrooms. I'm not a really fan of mushrooms, but... Okay, this looks like a little piece of bread. All right. Yes. Kind of flat tasting. Um, I like this because if you, in your opinion, this is, if your kids don't like eating mushrooms you can I guess give them these if you like these better than mushrooms but um yes for me this is yes all right we're gonna try these uh grilled steak bread bites these are the grilled steak bread bites that we were gonna do um a little bit ago Ooh. all right okay wow these are dark okay Grilled steak bread bites, coming up. Three, two, one. Steak, steak should not go on, on, on chips or bread or anything like that. It's dry, um, dry steak tasting, it's not something that you would think about tasting when you have uh, little bread bites like that. No, because this, that one seems like it should be a popcorn flavor and no, just, no. Steak doesn't belong in chip form. This is a yum bag. A yum bag. Okay, just save that for later. I'll save it for later. Yes. That's for last. Ooh, oh, uh, Janet's Bakery, World Sweets, orange vanilla and vanilla. Doesn't really say what it is. Um, they look like crackers. So orange and vanilla biscuits, oh. light and crispy with a touch of fresh orange. <laughs> cool. Here, get that one. Right. Okay. Little baggie inside. Whoa. All right. These are a little crumbled inside. Okay. There we go. Loki, you excited? Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Definitely have a hint of that orange in there. Wow, that's really good. These go together. Yeah, these are nice. Flat, thin wafer cookies. Yeah. Mm hmm. Very good. Mm, very good. Mm. That's okay, guys, sorry I didn't show you this. Mm. Um, these are orange and vanilla um, biscuits from Janet's back Bakery. Um, that's a yes because they're very nice and yeah, they're they're awesome. Definitely number one so far, right? Hmm. That is strawberry, caramel, and vanilla gummies. Mm. Gummy time. All right, they're pretty good. Oh no, I don't like this. No. So, so this is a little heart-shaped gummy. And this would be uh, 
probably strawberry, right? Mmm. A little creamy. But they're good gummies. Yeah. I don't like the smell. But I like the I like chewiness. It's like a satisfying chew. So let's see this for me. That's a yes, huh? All right, this is going to be nuts and milk chocolate wafers. Russia's softest, nuttiest, cakiest wafer. Ooh, that sounds really nice. That's definitely creamy and cakey. All right, basically you have to uh, you have to bite this one. Oh. That's thick. We're very chocolatey though. Mm. Not bad. Yes. No, yeah, it's real good. But I don't have any reasons why. Yes. But... Chocolatey. Good wafer stuff. Good. Woo. Uh, a green bar of chocolate. That is gonna. Cozy Yerwa, the chocolate factory, dark and lime. That's called the ripe pear milk chocolate. Rich milk chocolate with ooey, gooey pear filling. Hmm. Reminds me of Willy Wonka's, like, bars. Oh, yeah. Did you get the golden ticket in there? Hopefully we get the golden ticket. Okay. I just have to hold this. Jesus. It's a bit hard to open. Think of it as a Christmas present. You just rip that thing open in two seconds. All right. Ooh, I like this chocolate color. Show the people. Oh, dark chocolate. Very nice looking. Smells good, but ooh, satisfying. Wow. That's yeah, really good. Wow. It's a strong, a strong chocolate taste. Well, this looks really good. Mmm. White extra almond chocolate bar. Oh yes. What is this exactly here? Yeah, this is the almond white chocolate bar. This decadent white chocolate with whole almonds inside. It's my kind of bar. Ooh. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Almonds all over the place on this one. Wow. It's good. Really thick almondy. White, white yes. chocolate for sure. Yes. Yeah, the good. white chocolate is not too bad. It's not too sweet. I like the almonds to like balance it out in the flavor. So. Check this one out. Wow. Wait, hey, Dad. Huh? My video keeps on stopping. I have no idea. Probably have it set for a certain time. I just press this. Press recording. It'll tell you in the bottom how much time you have. It's probably have so much stuff on the memory, so it's getting full. You're going to have to start deleting stuff, Rex. All right, this is going to be caramel and nuts milk chocolate bar. Peanut, hazelnut, caramel, chocolate, heaven. Woo. Mmm. Whoa, that's, that's chewy. Oh, boy. A thick chocolate. Mmm. I'm gonna be sure it's in the center here. It tries to be a Snickers, but it's not a Snickers. It doesn't taste like it. Knock off Snickers, China version. <clears throat> yes. Yep. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's like Snickers was abandoned by someone on the ground. 
got <laughs> was, stepped on, rained stepped on, on, and somehow molded into this. <laughs> and they just found it and started making them. Nope. Well, this one, I'm trying to find. It's a picture of a little baby on the on the cover. I'm trying to find the little baby. I'm not seeing the little baby. That's not a that that is a terrifying doll. Scary doll? Yeah, I don't see that one. How did it sneak in there? Well, that's some some kind of candy. I don't like the packaging because it double wraps it. So if you want to open it, it just you have to fold it one more time. All right. Okay. Jesus. It, it's like a Twinkie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't don't rip it. Don't. It's just light. Take a bite. It's lightweight. Take a bite. Oh, it's hollow. Very soft. Hollow. Oh wow. That's soft. Yeah. What do you think of that one? I don't know about that one. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just like, flat tasting. Not much it's there. It's like China's version of a children's cake. I just want these uh, for these wafer things. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There we go. All right. Then this one. Some more cookies. This one's going to be the ginger and cinnamon biscuits. Crispy rusk. Crispy Russian cookies, perfect for tea time. The tea time cookies. Yeah, these, so far, these are my favorite. These Janet Bakeries, let's go. Wow, look, he did a nose bomb into the floor. Oh, it's too bad they're all crumbled okay. inside. I really like these. Up here. Yeah, basically the same shape. These are just going to be a ginger cinnamon. Mmm. Like like graham crackers, really nice. I like graham crackers. Mm. Yep. Gingerbread graham cracker. Mm. Wow. We'll save that for last. That one looks crazy. All right, this one's gonna be Ozera milk milk pear. A milk pear. What do we got here? Milk pear, ripe milk pear chocolate. Rich milk chocolate with ooey, gooey pear fin. Didn't we already do this one? All right, this one's milk pear. All right, bud. Ooh. Five delicious pieces. Ooh. Oh, there's a, a clear gooey feeling inside. It's like, it's pear milk. Pear milk. Yeah. All right. So the final, the final piece, the final piece to our Russian yummies is the orange marmalade and cinnamon prayanek. It's a traditional gingerbread with candied orange jam. It's an amazing thing to behold, but amazing, more amazing to eat. Are you ready, Rex? Uh -huh. For the final piece of Russia. It's like a brick. It's, a, it's like a bread brick. I like the little writing on there. All right. Huh. It's a thick bread. What are your thoughts on that one? Mm -mm. It's like a dry, condensed piece of bread with uh, cinnamon in it. Alright. It's a yum bag. Yum bag. Go ahead and get the yum bag. That's the last one. Yum bag. So sorry. Draw the number of columns you need. Hmm. 
Okay. Getting some yum bags here. What we got? There we go. Oh god, here. There's also <clears throat> okay. There's only one thing in here. Here. All right, so it's some kind of a uh, coconutty almond thingamajigger. Whoa, look at that. Um, look at this thing. Looks like a baby dragon fruit. Baby dragon fruit? Oh, it's white. Wow. Mm. It's like a sweet tortilla. What do you think, bud? <laughs> There's an almond in the middle. Wow, that's something right there. Very rich. All right. So, guys, this is the yummy box from Russia. A lot of fun. A lot of fun here. So, feel free to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to get yourself one of these mystery boxes from around the world. But uh, in all Rex, what do you give it? Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. All right. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Raf Eats. I'll see you guys next time. Home Theater Rules. Raf Cave out. See I'll ya. <laughs>